Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, December 26, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, The Revelation is my light. And today we have finally Jupiter and Uranus reaching their opposition at 20 degrees. So we've been talking about the 20 degrees all this week as we've been playing around with different aspects connecting into this. And this is kind of, I think, a big deal <laughs> um, because... You know, Jupiter and Uranus, this isn't, this isn't you know, an occurrence that happens all the time. And just the places that they're in. Uh, Uranus in Aries, representing the I, representing your I am, representing how you take action. And then Jupiter lighting up Libra, which can represent relationships, but especially the relationship with yourself. This is so highlighted in this energy. And oppositions, to me, are like one of the most interesting aspects in astrology because they can have that tug of war effect however they can also light you up in such a way that's so helpful for your life if instead of tugging on this rope and tugging against it using that force of resistance you're like i'm going to work with this energy because ultimately that's what we want to do we want to learn to work with the energies that's my goal in the daily horoscopes is like how do we work with this energy. So this is happening at 20 degrees. We've been talking about this 20 degree energy, the energy of nurturing, the energy of being present and mothering yourself. There's also an interesting aspect of the 20 degrees of the comfort zone. And I think that this may be part of what's going to play out in the energy today is that comfort zone. And it's not going to be about ripping yourself out of the comfort zone. <laughs> it's also not going to be about staying completely hidden in the comfort zone. It's following this trail, this trail of awakening, your personal awakening, the awakening of your light, following that energy beyond your comfort zone. So my friend likes to say you stretch your comfort zone instead of like bursting that bubble of your comfort zone. This is an opportunity to liberate, awaken, revolutionize your comfort zone, stretch it around who you are. Now I want to show you this card because I have the traveling card and I feel like this is what we're being asked to do in this energy is travel from this one place that we've been at that we've maybe been staying a little stagnant in and opening our minds because this card to me beyond traveling is a card of opening your mind, expanding your horizon opening your mind to this thing that has been pulling on you, working with you. Now I have some other interesting cards. I have the laziness card. Laziness, holding us in that comfort zone. The morality card, which is that card of these stagnant beliefs that keep us from juiciness, that keep us from expanding into our light, into who we are. And then the guilt. And to me, these are the blocks that keep you from this traveling, that keep you from this open mind energy that takes you straight into this energy of rebirth. Look at this, rebirthing yourself into the light, into your innocence, into who it is that you really are. This is how we want to travel, but we have to be vigilant of these things, which may be the obstacles in your path. But that's what they are. They're merely tiny obstacles. It's not something that's meant to necessarily stop you. And what came into my mind around this energy is one of my favorite Rumi verses. I know I say that about all of them, but I really love this one. And it's basically love is a bridge between you and everything. And so when you come against these energies, this is how you stretch your comfort zone instead of bursting through it. You offer yourself love. You offer yourself that nurturing energy. And you offer whatever the situation is, that love, that light. The revelation is your light, the light that you have to offer, the light of the universe that you have to offer in this energy. So it's really beautiful. <laughs> However, you may feel that tug of war. So if you're feeling that tug of war in this energy, tune in to where you are putting up those obstacles to your personal stretching. Now it's interesting because this can be the I we think. It can be somebody else having an expectation out of you that isn't in alignment with you. Be open to what they may be expecting, but then come back to you, come back to your light, come back to your truth and recognize what is your path. How do you liberate yourself? How do you liberate your life? Because that's the focus and everything else will work itself out. You've just got to focus and concentrate on what your path is and let everything else work itself out as well. 
So Saturn is still playing into this energy at 20 degrees as well, and Lilith as well. <laughs> Saturn and Lilith are helping you on this. Lilith will be that energy like, yeah, honor yourself. Go your own way. Trust yourself. Trust that fire within you. And Saturn is busy helping us shed those old beliefs, those old those old beliefs <laughs> that are keeping us stuck in the dark ages instead of the light ages. Um, so besides that, we have the moon in Sagittarius, which is also helping us in this realm, helping us shift out of those beliefs. Now it's interesting because the moon in Sagittarius will be squaring Mars today and squaring um, the nodes. So north and south node in um, Pisces and Virgo. That Mars energy is hanging out with a uh, the south node in Pisces, opposite the north node, and then we have the moon hanging out in Sagittarius, squaring this energy. It's going to move fast, but again, this comes into you think you know, but you have no idea. And I think the place that I like to come from with that is as much as you know, there's always going to be truth beyond what you know. We think we know, <laughs> we think we know so much, but the true knowing is knowing that as much as you know, you're never gonna know it all. And so remaining open to bring more knowledge in, to being open to there are truths beyond this. And if, if you need that absolute truth, because I'm a Sagittarius, I love truth, that absolute truth is the love, is the light that connects us all. So falling into that and letting everything else open up to you is the way to go about this, I believe my personal belief, what has worked for me in expanding my, expanding my horizons. Um, the moon is also going to square Neptune. So again, you may come into this place. You may get hung up on what you have looked at as your truth. Just ask yourself, yum or yuck, is this serving me? Does this feel good? Is this in alignment with who I am now? Or is it time to light my fire and move my burning on beyond this? Move to the next bonfire. You know, listen to yourself. Only you can really answer this question for you. Mercury connecting to Neptune, I think, is going to help that process. Mercury is retrograde, so it's letting go of that control that we've had. And part of that control is like, I have to believe this thing that I believe. So that's beautiful. Finally, we do have the Sun and Mars connecting right at like midnight, <laughs> California time, Pacific time. Um, so that may like ignite you. You may be like, I'm not going to sleep. I'm staying up all night. I'm fiery. I'm fired up. I'm fired up in this path. I find Uranus actually keeps me up a lot. So I've been up late this week, like really late, dealing with this Uranus energy, wanting to like give me insights. Uranus, the liberator. I'm listening. I'm paying attention. It's liberating me. It's beautiful. So speaking of the liberator, Uranus, I pulled from the archetypes. Liberator, the light attributes, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. How perfect is that? Now the shadow attributes is imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. And so that's where, you know, you think that you know, you may know for you. <laughs> but you can't put that knowing on everybody else. Everybody has their own timing, their own personal path of their liberation. So really keep working on liberating yourself, fall into that love and let everybody else be in their own timeline. Now to continue with the lion theme of the rebirth card, I have literally pulled this card for myself like five times maybe. I keep pulling this card and when it popped up today, I was like, oh my gosh, here it is again. It's the seeker of crystals. It is the cowardly lion. And it's saying, we're learning about the tremendous amount of courage to face the obstacles on the path of life, to stretch that comfort zone. Um, Dorothy finds the cowardly lion, lion very defensive and self-assured. And when the lion's scary tactics don't work, he's confronted with his own fears and vulnerabilities. Part of that nurturing is looking at those places so that you can unlock yourself, so that you can unlock your light. When the cowardly lion appears for you, remember to tap into your own hidden strength and power. Sometimes this power must be expressed in a gentle manner, and other times it should be revealed in a fiercely passionate way. The false pride and selfishness that you may project out of fear and doubt are best replaced with an honorable willingness to feel your own pain, to be with your own self, to nurture yourself. Let the inner truth of your radiant soul come shining through. Like the cowardly lion, you'll be crowned with a victor's wreath denoting glory and hard-won accomplishments. So, you know, this is this astro 
is intense. It has a level of intensity in it. So really be patient with yourself, be calm with yourself, and love yourself through this. So that being said, I have my readings, 26 or 2017 readings. If you'd like to work with me for the year of 2017, now's the time. I'm going to be raising my prices come January 1st, um, or maybe a little bit after, but around that time, maybe when Mercury goes direct, I'm going to raise my prices. But now's the time to book that so that we can get started on 2017. You can find that at GaiaBlooming.com, and you can always email me at MimiClark at gmail.com if you would like to know more. Namaste.